Uganda President Yoweri Museveni has assented to the controversial anti-homosexuality bill despite condemnation of Western countries and human rights activists. The bill was first passed by MPs in March but was returned to the parliament for amendments. In the new law, the offense of homosexuality is now limited to gay sexual acts and people convicted under this clause face life imprisonment. The legislation also prescribes death penalty for aggravated offenses in cases of sexual abuse against a minor, a disabled person, or where a victim of abuse is infected with a lifelong illness. We have no choice but to stand our ground. Otherwise, if we don't stand our ground, this is what is going to happen. Next time, they will bring another condition on our, on our laws. Don't pass this law. If you do so, then X, Y, and Z is likely to happen. So if we don't stand our ground as a country, as a people, as a community, then we will completely have seceded our sovereignty and independence as a country. I'm in contact with LGBTIQ activists in Uganda, as well as around the world, that, as you've said, are outraged, and in the case of those in Uganda, are terrified that this law has now been enacted. First of all, to say it's quite um, sad and unfortunate um, that such a bill will be passed um, in this uh, dispensation which we are in, where there is vast information about um, LGBT people being a group of people who are harmless, who are not criminals, and who do not cause any harm to anybody. And this is a second um, attempt um, at criminalizing LGBT people. One question that somebody will ask is what happened between the first law and the second law? And Outright has clarified that in our opinion, this law is nothing short of genocidal ideology. This law seeks the extermination of LGBTIQ people. Demonstrators marched in South Africa's Cape Town this Friday against Uganda's draconian anti-gay law put in place last week. Colonization was enough. Apartheid was enough. We can't deal with this. Human beings need to be free from brainwashing strategies. We, they need to be free from unjust laws. So we are saying as South Africans, stop the anti-homosexual bill. Like what is happening right now in Uganda, whereby we have our people imprisoned in their own houses because of their sexuality. It angers me. It gets me so angry. It gets me so frustrated. Homosexuals are deviations from normal. This deviant, is he deviant by nature or by nurture? We, we need a medical opinion on that. The bill comes as conspiracy theories accusing shadowy international forces of promoting homosexuality gain traction on social media in Uganda. Uganda has passed a draconian law, one of the harshest anti-LGBTQ laws in the world. If you're gay in the African nation, you could face 20 years in prison or even worse, death penalty. There has been a huge outcry since the law was signed. The West calls it a violation of human rights, threatening to cut off billions of dollars of aid to Uganda. One of the harshest anti-LGBTQ laws in the world. A draconian measure that targets the country's queer community. Same-sex relations were already illegal in Uganda. But this new law goes much further. It includes capital punishment for serial offenders as well as for those transmitting a terminal illness through gay sex. Not just that, there's even a 20-year sentence for promotion of homosexuality. New anti-gay law by President Yoweri Museveni ushers in a dangerous time for Uganda's LGBTQ people. The Anti-Homosexuality Act intensifies a long crackdown on sexual minorities. Ugandan legislators who passed the law nearly unanimously say it's their prerogative. If we don't stand our ground as a country, as a people, as a community, then we will completely have seceded our sovereignty.
The country's new bill is one of the world's most punitive. It includes the death penalty for, quote, aggravated homosexuality. Nation's human rights chief Volker Turk said on Tuesday that Uganda's anti-LGBTQ law appears to violate the Constitution. It's devastating that this law was signed by the president. And I hope that the judiciary is going to look into it and I can tell you, if they look at human rights law, their own constitution, they will find it in violation of it. This homosexual bill is not uh, what we need right now. Uh, the kind of rights, we cannot be talking about such rights when um, fundamental rights, like human rights, rights to access to, 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 to education, access to, um, uh, access to uh, health services, um, uh, uh, we have not fought for such rights and we go for, for that other right. Appreciate the house. The signing is finished, nobody will move us. Uganda's president has defended signing one of the world's harshest anti-LGBTQ laws. At a meeting of his National Resistance Movement Party, Yoweri Museveni said the legislation, which includes the death penalty, was needed to prevent LGBTQ community members who were disoriented from recruiting others. It's not genetic, it's not hormonal, it is psychological disorientation where somebody, because of some experience, hates the people you should love, and love the people you should not love. It's a type of like a sickness. The law imposes capital punishment for so-called aggravated homosexuality and a life sentence for same-sex intercourse. A 20-year jail term can be handed down for the promotion of homosexuality. And to the contrary, nay. The eyes have it. A bill for an act entitled the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. With the new developments in place, sanctions promised by Western countries have already been set in motion. The Speaker of the Ugandan Parliament, Anita Annette Among, has had a visa to the United States revoked, according to communication reported in Ugandan Parliament Monday. I speak now, the Speaker's visas have been cancelled for America the other day, and, and this, is, this is also confirmed. The United Nations Human Rights Office, whose Commissioner Volker Turk in March, described the bill as among the worst of its kind in the world, condemned its passage into law. Africans here, we, we, we know a few people who are, who are rumored to be homosexuals. Even, even in history, we had some few being rumored. But you cannot stand up here and say, I'm a homosexual. Uh, and, uh, the president made the remarks while opening the Global Peace Leadership Conference in Munyonyo, Kampala. He says several forces have tried to push him to publicly promote homosexuality in the guise of promoting human rights. So whenever we talk to our partners from other parts of the world, say, please, that's a private matter, you, you leave it. No, they, but they want to impose it on you. <laughs> that I should stand up and say, oh yeah, homosexuals, oh yeah. You're just a coward. You are hiding behind technology where you sit in an aircraft and you are killing people as if you're in a, in a theater. Many serious obstacles must be overcome to create truly a just, equitable, and flourishing societies for all Africans. If these obstacles are not addressed in a comprehensive way, we are all too well aware that many of those young people their hopes frustrated could swell the ranks of violent extremists and criminal gangs. The conference organizer has bestowed upon President Museveni the Global Peace Leadership Award for his contribution towards the stability of the Great Lakes region. Uganda was the first country to deploy peacekeepers in the war-torn Somalia in March 2007. And to date, the country plays a lead role in the African Union peacekeeping mission in Somalia, AMISOM. Habad Ziwa, NTV. Ugandan Human Rights Commission, which is mandated by the Constitution. So having others uh, 
which are not part of our constitutional system, is first of all unnecessary, but also diversionary. Because some of the people may not know the difference. Instead of going to report to where action can be taken, they go to the UN. What can UN do in Uganda? They, have, they, they don't have the powers of, of enforcement. The ones who have the powers of enforcement are the Uganda National Human Rights Commission. So why divert, divert uh, attention of complainants with multiple points? Because for the ordinary people, they may not know the difference. The mistake of uh, Western countries, they are the ones who are provoking because they, 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 they are really, the English word is insufferable. You can't put up with their nonsense because nobody concentrates so much on homosexuals and nobody is hunting them. But because they come and want to force us to say homosexuality, oh yeah, 